Alright guys, we got a few onions drying. some peas, purple hole peas, and I've already started creaming some corn today. So let me take you over here. Good morning guys, Texas Jedi. I'm going to give you a little garden update. Uh, should have already done this, but uh give you a walk through to see how everything's going. This gate open here. gate chained up keep the rabbits out all right start down here on this end we already picked all of the got all them picked up we got a couple uh, a couple heads of cabbage that the bugs got to picks um, we've got four rows of peas purple hole peas and we've got most of them picked we've got a few left a few left in there uh, to get picked but they turned out really well this year let's see we got our okra it's, it's coming on pretty good Got a few more, a few more that are coming up. They'll be ready here for too long. And then our tomatoes, our tomatoes went absolutely bonkers. Got lots and lots of green tomatoes. They'll be uh, ready to pick here for too long. Got two rows of that. We got one row of purple hole peas down the center here. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and keep for seed bean. We picked a few of them off. And then we've got our uh, four rows of popcorn. Um, I know Tony Bushcraft said, let me know when the popcorn's ready. I'll buy some from you. So uh, I may send him out some popcorn kernels fresh from, fresh from my garden. But there's the popcorn and got a purple hole pea row there. Got a couple of rows of tomatoes. As you can see, they're growed up really, really good. And they're coming in really, I mean, we've got full tomato bushes, or tomato plants, rather. Um, we'll probably start picking some of these for fried green tomatoes uh, tomorrow. But uh, yeah, oh, and here's the uh, the wine bottles I was telling, uh, mentioning to somebody, I don't remember who it was, maybe it was, uh, Oh, maybe it's Pripper Bug Out Bags, maybe. Somebody I mentioned. Um, I know that, uh, uh, what's her name? Sparkle is the color. I told her to plant some wine bottles in your garden, and as the wind blows across them, it makes an awful, god awful noise. It vibrates into the ground and keeps the gophers out. So we do that, and we do the uh, little CDs. On little sticks uh, when it's first coming when the plants are first coming up light hits it reflects and keeps the keeps the birds off of it <laughs> so uh that is our west garden um it's doing really well I've already harvested a, a bunch of onions a bunch of purple hole peas and then i'm gonna take you to the south garden and we've been uh harvesting regular corn now and uh we cream about half, well, we cream about three quarters of the regular corn and freeze them in bags. And uh, then we'll harvest towards the end, we'll harvest whole kernel, whole corn shucks for eating corn on the cob and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it's going on pretty good. Tomatoes are, whew, there's lots of tomatoes and plants are full. All right, so let me walk over here to the other garden. I'm going to show you guys where we got a drying rack out here we got our garlic garlic bulbs drying up it's nothing like fresh garlic fresh garlic mm. pop 
pastas and pizzas and grilling fresh peppers, garlic and olive oil and sea salt. But we got all them picks and uh, they're out here drying out a little bit. And uh, we'll, get them, we'll get them put up. Alright, out to the container garden now. And we got, uh, got some peppers coming on. All these are full. Peppers went on pretty good. And what we got, got our bells. You see in here, they're getting, uh, putting on pretty good. Got our banana peppers putting on pretty good. Got a few peppers on them. This one right here is doing really good. Some big ones in there. Got our sage plant. Nothing like fresh sage. A few more peppers. Some more sage. More sage, more sage, more sage. And we got our four big containers of squash plants. We've already been picking squash off of it. Got a couple more coming up on here. That's gonna be a pretty good one right there. Give it a few more days for a few more, couple more weeks. But that is a container trellis container garden. And Come out here. We got our gourds and our squaw, our uh, gourds and our cantaloupes and our watermelons. Watermelons, I don't think we have. We had a couple that started blood off. I don't think they're doing too well. Not just yet. I know we got some cantaloupes. This should be coming up. And these are our gourds. There's our gourds right here. We grow these. Um, we, grow, we grow these gourds here for purple martin houses. Dry them out. And we make purple martin bird houses. Because uh, we like the purple martins because. That's our neighbor's house. I like the purple martins. There's our well. But I like the purple martins because when they come on and have all their babies, they help us with the bugs. They destroy the garden. And I don't know if y'all can see this, but we've got a guy across the path, right across the pasture. He grows watermelons. And they're out there picking the watermelon patch now. Best watermelons in Hawkins in East Texas. And he's got that whole field over there. It's all watermelons. All watermelons. And the guy directly across from us, he has a pecan orchard. and rows of pecan trees. Let me go over here and show you this other garden. Purple whole peas is over on this side. We got three more rows of it. And our asparagus. And 
and we've got uh, some more peppers down at the end. And then here's our corn. And it's full. Full, full. Look at that ear right there. They're just, they took off. Got corn after corn after corn. I got a good one right there. A couple good ones on that stock. Yeah, that's how our garden's doing. It's doing pretty good. And we have some potatoes there underneath the ground over on that end. We've already harvested a lot of our um, red lettuce. Well, that's where we're at now. That's corn did really good this year. Still got a lot of harvesting doing it. So yeah, guys, that's the garden update. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, until next time, uh, we should be. Let's see. We should be harvesting tomatoes and more corn for too long i'll get a video of that and uh after that'll be the okra uh I'll be harvesting peppers probably towards the end of this week that's the shop some more wood piles <laughs> then uh should be right around mid-august first of august will be uh slaughtering chickens so thanks guys for watching thanks for coming along hope you all enjoy what you've seen this is uh it's about six seven years of trial and error to get the garden to where it's at now and it's doing pretty good so i'm gonna go get started on some shelling some peas get the kids out here this evening i uh, still got a bunch on this row i need to need to get picked you can see they're ready. Got uh, all the ones on the end down there ready. Uh, and then through the middles, there's a lot we've already picked and a lot that's still left that's still green. But uh, we'll get it. Thanks for watching. Texas Jedi. May force be with you guys. Have a good day.